What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at ACB Aurora Cannabis. This stock got rated to go to zero. That is crazy. You want to know why? I do too. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Then after that, we're going to go ahead and take a look at ONTX, the swing trade I'm in right now. They just had an offering today, big old red candlestick going down. Uh, absolutely. Uh, you want, I just want to puke. Then after that, we're going to go ahead and take a look at you guys because it has to be getting close to that reverse split kind of area. So it's going, we're going in the heart of winter right now. We're pretty much in the heart of winter. So, so if you guys are new to my channel, just make sure to hit that subscribe button so you get this content and don't forget to like the video. Let's get right into these stocks. So I'm going to go ahead and be honest right off the bat. I actually like this company a lot. And the reason why I like this company is basically because they have so many facilities to grow marijuana. And in reality, that's kind of hurting them because their overhead is so big and they don't really have a supply to put out and actually make money on this. And this isn't the only marijuana stock that's getting beat up right now. They pretty much all are. So here's the chart for ACB. And I was actually looking at this yesterday. I actually put in a limit buy order at about, I think it was like 220. And I was looking for a swing trade on it. And then I stopped myself. I was like, hold on a second. Let's just see if it's actually going to hold. And I'm going to tell you why I had put it in a limit buy. I basically was looking at a double bottom here. And it wasn't there yet yesterday, but I was like, eh, if it gets there, maybe it's going to bounce off of it. So I had my limit buy-in at $2.20, and and then I got rid of it because I was like, it, it might not do that. It might just keep going down because this stock is actually being shorted pretty bad too as well right now. But that's what I'm looking for right now is a double bottom play. And the blood is in the water pretty bad, and so everybody wants to either sell or they're shorting the hell out of it. Everybody is saying this stock's going to go to zero. I just want to make a swing trade out of it. I don't really want to invest into the company. So tomorrow, I'm going to go ahead and see if it actually holds the support level and starts to bounce up. And if it does, this is going to be a double bottom right here. And you know what happens on double bottoms. You could be looking for this thing to shoot all the way up to $4. But hold on, hold, hold your horses. We have to see if it actually is going to hold us or is it just going to keep on dumping. So this is going to be on watch for me tomorrow for a double bottom play. And if I'm looking at it right now, it's, it's set up for a reversal. If you look at the RSI, it's very oversold. We're at the support level here right now where we're at. The question is, is it going to hold it or not? And that's what I'm waiting to find out. What is it going to do? And if it starts to go up, I might hop in it real quick. Because if this is a double bottom play, I want to be in it. But I don't want to jump in it too soon because you don't want to become a bag holder on it. Not on this stock. Not right now. Because everything is very bad with this company right now. I am only looking at the technical side to see if I can play that. And a lot of times, the technical side, it works. It does, no matter what's going on with the stock. If we look at the 10 year two day chart, we're really going to take a look at it here. See, it's, I mean, it's is pretty hard support where it's at right now. This is really hard support. If I zoom in here to find the next line of support, it's looking like it's probably right around, uh, I'd probably say, it says 159. I'm just going to say $2. But if it gets down to $2, I'm not going to get in it. I'm looking for it to hold right where it is right now for that double bottom play. And it's a question mark right now, but earnings is probably going to happen right around 211 or right around that area. And it's probably not going to be that good because they are having money issues right now and making sales and all that. So I don't want to be in this for an earnings play. That's for sure. I'm just looking for the double bottom. I know I'm saying it over and over again. I just want to get it in your head. All right, so now we're looking at ONTX. I'm in this for a swing trade right now. And it's a question mark right now, but their next earnings should be around late March. And I really like the swing trade. The stock was running up pretty good for the past couple of days. I was like, all right, we're getting some momentum. We're going to get going. And what do they do? Boom, another offering and the stock drops immediately. And this already happened before when I was in it for a swing trade. That was a $5 million one. And this is another $5 million one. But it's only for two days. So tomorrow, December 19th, after that, it should be all over with. And then hopefully we can start our run up again. And I understand why they're doing this. They have a new cancer drug that's doing very good. And they want to make sure they have money down the line. So it helps them fund the testing and then getting it out in the market. So I understand why they're doing it. And the stock did recover a little bit today. As you can see, it did come back up. Now we just need to break this 30 cents mark. And I'm not going to lie. I added a little bit more today when this dropped down pretty hard. I was pissed, but then I was like, this is a pretty good price right now. I need to add more. So I did. And then I lowered my average a little bit. All right. Now I got you guys here pulled up. You can see it's trying to fight back up, but it just keeps getting pulled back down. This is why I'm saying I don't want to get into you guys right now because it's very choppy. My time to get into you guys is right around September. That's when I play the swing trade on you guys. Holding this overnight, I'm going to tell you, it's, it's insane right now. I would not want to be holding this overnight, not in this kind of choppiness because you don't know what direction it's going to go in. You're basically just gambling. And if we're looking at forward slash NG right here, I got pulled up here. This resistance right here at 
about two dollars and 33 cents it's it's in play it's definitely respecting it still and i can definitely see it dropping back down here to the support level at two dollars and 21 cents and if that happens it's going to pull you guys down pretty hard and then i think that eventually we're going to see a reverse split being announced pretty soon and i don't know why i'm going to do this it's just a waste of time but let's go ahead and take a look at the natural gas storage report here and i'm just saying that because i know that we're not going to have a lot of storage taken out where it's going to be at an astronomical change to what's going on with you guys and natural gas on 1129 we had 891 and now on 1206 we have 867 so it's it's not much of a change but yeah just looking at the storage not much of a change at all nothing nothing to really talk about all right that's it thanks for watching my channel hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to hit that like button down below and uh let's see if i can find something to make a swing trade out of here huh let's make some money everybody